Welcome everybody to another episode of Rewind the Times. Man, I hope everybody's having a good winter, fall. This is my favorite time of the year. Something about this time of the year just does something, just does something to my heart. <coughs> As most people know that watch my channel, I'm a big, uh, I'm like, a, I'm a big kid. I just turned 42 in September, and uh, you know, I still have that 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 childlike mentality in me. I've never letting it go, you know, and, and I never will let it go. Um, you know, like I love, I I know as people get older, they become more hard and more like um, like rock, you know, like like a rock. Like they become, they take everything serious, and and, and it's not that. It's not that it's good not to take things serious, but you know, you guys understand what I'm trying to say, man. Life is hard enough as it is with, with debts and all that other type of stuff. And you know, I, I love, I love my childhood. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of collecting toys. And another thing I'm a big fan of. Well, before I start that, I wanted to say I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. I had a really good Thanksgiving, and I am so excited for Christmas this year because um, some people I don't know. If some, I don't talk about all my personal business on my YouTube channel, but about four years ago, me and my, I have two children from two different women. I have a 13 year old and I have a seven year old. And me and my 13 year old, his mother, Andrea, we, we broke up years, when my son Jeremy was five years old. But my seven year old, me, Colston, he has such a personality. Oh, I, I wanna bring him on here one time. You guys, I think you guys will love him. Um, actually, he does, he, he's the one that does, uh, actually if you go on my channel, he's doing a, a a wrestling, he's doing a wrestling video with his wrestling toys. It's uh, Colson's Imagination, Imagination Federation. I think we called it or something. Oh, my son has such an imagination. Uh, he, I, I, I feel like I passed that gene on to him because he's such a, such a big kid. You know, even I mean he is a kid, but you can just tell that it's gonna stay with him as he gets older. But uh, you know, August of nineteen of two thousand nineteen, me and Colson's mother broke up, and for the last couple of years, my son. My son has been with his mom. So I, 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 I do get him on the holidays, but I usually get him in the afternoon. I never get him right away. Which, as dads, that sucks. You know, I'm not trying to knock any, but any woman down or anybody that's, any females that are watching my video. But, but it feels like us guys, man, we kind of get the kind of get the shit end of a lot of things. I mean, I know a lot of us kind of deserve that sometimes because us guys are dicks. But there are some guys in this world that are good guys. And, and I like to consider myself one of them. And uh, it sucks, man, when things... Don't go your way. And I don't mean from a selfish point. I just mean, like, things should be fair. You know, like, I am Colson's dad. <laughs> you are Colson's mom. I don't want to say her name, but you are Colson's mom. Like, like we decided to have a child together. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know, it's it, it just, it just, it's just so one-sided, but whatever. So this year, I have Colson um, for Christmas. And I am so excited because he's still at that age where he believes in Santa Claus. And my girlfriend's sleeping over, and she's gonna have her three children, and one of them is set at the same age as my youngest, uh, Colston, which is seven. So I'm super excited to have Christmas and my 13 year old sleeping over. This is gonna be the first time he's ever slept over since, you know, since uh, on Christmas, since me and his mother broke up. So I am just so excited for the holidays. I've already started decorating. Um, it's kind of it's tough. I'm doing a lot of these things by myself and working six days a week. Man, six nights a week, it is hard, guys. I mean, when you relax, the first thing you do is you're like, hey, what should I do next, you know? You're not like, hey, let's go let's go do some more work. <laughs> so, and I work out. I just got back from the gym. Um, but that's what made me think about uh, doing this video is, is my childhood and the feelings I get for Christmas. And one thing that I love, 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 and I feel like it's a dying thing, but it'll never die with me, and that's physical media. I love owning something. Like I love, like I do. I love physically owning. So I do. I love it. Um, you know, I think that's. I think like I, I, you know, we. There's a lot of apps that HBO Max, Paramount, Disney Plus. That you can watch anything you want, and it's on an app. So everything's at the, at your fingertips. But back in the day, growing up, we had VHSs, and you know, DVDs were a big thing coming coming around. But VHS was a big thing, and before that was laser discs. And I like something. Something about owning a piece of that franchise or that horror movie or that comedy something about owning it it, it, it feels like I, I feel like I'm part of it for something for some reason and I wanted to go over on my shoulder I wanted to go over my physical media collection today I wanted to show you my favorite horror movies my my, my, my DC my Marvel movies 
and just what's in my collection. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'm gonna go over some things, guys. Just bear with me. So over here, as you guys know, this is my Black Adam collection. I think I think the Rock would be pop, would be proud of me. There's part of it right there, and then there's another part of it, which is so cool. And then there's that. So let's start over here. Over here is all my DC. This is my DC stuff. I love, as you guys know, I love DC, and I love collecting it on 4K. Something about a 4, 4K, it just it just comes out so good. My favorite Batman. I love the DCEU, as you guys can see. I still got more to collect, but I put that on my uh, my Santa list. Hope I've been a good boy this year. <laughs> so, here is... I love Batman 66. Animust is my favorite Batman besides Michael Keaton. That show right there, Monster Squad, it's the same guys, it's the same people that wrote uh, Batman that, that wrote um, Batman 66. The, the campiness is just awesome, guys. If, if you guys ever get a chance to, to check it out, it's only like 12 episodes, but man, it's really, really cool. And then down here is more Batman stuff. You know, it's crazy because I have that Batman face Ninja Turtles and I've yet to see it. Sorry about the, the, the shaking, guys. It's so hard to hold the, to hold the camera. And then over here, I got Peacemaker, the Flash series. That was an awesome CW show. Cannot wait to see the last season. And then down here, I got Marvel. Yes, DC is my ultimate favorite. But you know what, guys? I still love comic book heroes, hero movies in general. So I got Morbius in there. I tell you now, that was a really good movie. I know it got crapped on a lot, but I really enjoyed Morbius. <laughs> and here's my cartoons, man. Visionaries. Who remembers that? He-Man. Voltron, Mighty Murphy Power Rangers, rest in peace, Jason David Frank, still, it's still bothering me. M -m -m mask Mask, one of the best theme songs of all time in cartoons. Brave Star, Cops, Wheel Warriors, that, that was, my, my singing voice is terrible, but that's, that fucking theme song was amazing. In, Inhumanoids, who remembers Inhumanoids? Dude, that CD right there I had to get from Germany, dude, it was $199. And I was not paying one hundred ninety nine dollars, so I ended up buying it off someone that 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 burnt it for me for twelve bucks. <laughs> so let's go down to the other shelf. Tailspin, Toxic Crusaders, with the Littles, awesome, awesome cartoon man, Monster Force man, that's so good. If you guys get a chance to check that out, Pro Stars, Beverly Hills Teens, that is really cool. How about? Get along, gang. Get along, gang. How about that, guys, man? Who remembers Get Along, gang? Oh, fuck. That's an awesome fucking cartoon. Oh, Back to the Future. The one after that is Zoobly Zoo. Man, no word of a lie, guys. I'm being honest with you. I'm not going to lie to you. Whenever I hear that theme song, it makes me cry. My mother loved the lion. That He was a painter in that show. I can't even watch it. I can't even... I have a hard time even getting through the theme music without, without shedding some tears. Uh, Centurion, Sky Commanders, Drac Pack, Street Shocks, Toxic Crusaders, the whole, the complete set. Tales from the Crypt. Back in the, back in the 80s, man, in the 90s, they made cartoons about everything, guys. That's what I miss, man. You try, you try sitting down and watching a cartoon on Saturdays nowadays, guys, it's crap. It's just crap. Police Academy. Ooh, excuse me, I just burped. Police Academy. You guys know I love my Kenna toys. The best of Bill and Ted. Oh, that cartoon's awesome, man. And then down here, who doesn't love Saved by the Bell? Oh, Super Mario, Sonic, <laughs> Beavis and Butthead, Ren and Stimpy. I love that shit. Ren, you idiot! <laughs> Kim Lock. Oh, are you afraid of the dark? Dude, that's when, like, horror was so big for us as, as kids. Absolutely loved Are You Afraid of the Dark. And then down here, I'm a big, 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 big fan of American Horror Story. And my girlfriend, on our first year together for Christmas, bought me the whole set. Uh, matter of fact, I just asked for uh, season 10, which is double feature. Chucky, uh, Friday the 13th, that's me and my cousin. Not my cousin, I'm sorry. Me and my son, Jeremy. We love Jason Voorhees. Then you got the Freddy Krueger. The Scream series, which I love Scream. Halloween, love, love Michael Myers. You guys know the cla you know the you know the classic guys, Jason, Freddy, Chucky, Michael Myers, you guys know all those man. Adventures Adventures in Babysitting. Who doesn't love that? Elizabeth Shue, fucking beautiful that movie. 
Here's another, this is a movie that I talk about, man, when they made movies about anything in the 80s. Howard the Duck. Come on, man. Howard the fucking duck. <laughs> fucking sure. And she has sex with him. She has sex with a duck. <laughs> guys, it's so funny, guys. The, the real, the monster squad that everybody knows. The Goonies. Garbage pill kids. Thrills and chills. It has, oops, oops sorry, guys. Thrills and chills. That has uh, Fright Night on there. Awesome. Jaws. Jaws the Revenge. Jaws. I'm coming to get your mama. Jaws, I'm coming to get your mama and sister. This Jaws, those, those, those sequels are just ridiculous. It, the original It, the new It, Night Gallery, The Twilight Zone. Love the fucking Twilight Zone, guys. Awesome. Uh, the Toxic Avenger, that by, by Troma. Oh, those are so good, man. So good and so silly. So that's over here, guys. Oh, I'm sorry. Sleepaway Camp, Cobra Kai, The Meg, uh, The Midnight Hour. That Christopher Seaver has a show on here called The Crep from the 80s. If you like things 80s, guys, go check his channel out. Great guy. He doesn't even know I'm, gonna, he doesn't even know I'm giving him a shout-out, but just a great guy. I love the guy to death. I haven't talked to him in a while. it has been so busy. But Chris, love your show, man. You know it, brother. The Midnight Hour. That is an awesome... Um, it's, like a, it's like a teen horror movie back in the 80s. Awesome, awesome. Police Academies. The Lost Boys. Come on, guys. Who's favorite? That's, that's my favorite vampire movie of all time. Killer Clowns. From outer space. That's what I mean. They made a movie. They made movies about everything back then. Everything. Back to the Future, which may be the greatest movie of all time in some of people's opinions. Big Trouble in Little China. Creed One and Two. The Karate Kid. Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters Afterlife. Rocky. Ah oh, man, just all great movies, guys. And then this is my section, which I now have given to my son. And I'll go through it. That's the Black Adam stuff I already showed you. Well, I got all the WrestleManias. My young, my my seven-year-old loves these, man. He loves these. Absolutely loves them. I got some, I got some Batman stuff mixed in there, but he just loves them. But the war, the Warriors. Can the Warriors come out and play? I love that, dude. I'm a big kid, man. I love that shit. Stranger Things, Star Wars. Who doesn't love Star Wars? I'll just if you guys want, I'll do something about Star Wars. What's your, what's your favorite Star Wars? My favorite Star Wars is let's let's zoom in on it. Where is it? Return of the Jedi. I love that. And Revenge of the Sith. Stranger Things. Jurassic World. Oh, of those Jurassic World movies. Street Hawks. Who remembers that show back in the eighties? The Goldbergs, which is all about the eighties. Red Dawn. Judgment Night. Night of the Creeps. Dawn of the Dead. Uh, Land of the Dead. Ninja, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Willy's Wonderland. My son is obsessed with that movie. Game of Thrones, Cyborg. Who loves a little Van Damme there? And a Rock Rampage and some Godzilla. Shocker. I love Cyborg. It's a good movie. This is my Christmas section. Every year, me and my girlfriend, when we, um, we, when we do our Christmas presents, when we're wrapping them for the kids, we always watch White Christmas. Uh, I can't wait. Can't wait, babe. Can't wait to watch it. And then down here is just some more cartoon stuff, American Horror Story, Twilight. Hey, don't judge me. Don't judge. I like Twilight. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey. I'm a born again Christian, so I got some movies about God. War Room. What a good movie. And then down here is just some VHS, Top Gun, some New Orleans and Saint stuff. Young Blood, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, Sister Act, Mannequin. Just some good movies, guys. You gotta have physical media, guys. I love it. It's just something about owning it that makes it feel like you own a piece of it, you know, guys? Alright, okay, let's turn this camera. Yeah, as you can see, guys, I'm a big character, man. I'm a big kid. That's who I am. But that's my physical media stuff, man. You know, tell me, guys, write in the comments what you like. And if you guys want, I can do a video of some, if you guys want, I can do a video about something you've seen in my collection. I can talk more about it. If you want to talk about Nightmare on Elm Street. Or, or Friday the 13th. Or, you know, any of those things. I'm going to do them anyways. But if you, if you mention it, I'll bump it up and do it quicker, you know. So, Garbage Pail Kids. You know, I love Garbage Pail Kids. As you guys, as most people know, is my tattoo. Dedicated to me and my cousin Debbie. So, hey guys, I'm going to let you go. I got home from the gym. I got some chores I got to do today. I got to take... Different things around the house. But listen, I hope everybody has a blessed day. I hope everybody's taking care of themselves and each other. And remember, man, God first and family. Until my next video, take care, guys. Peace, man. Thank you again.